Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make dynamic tab in PHP with MySQL by using Bootstrap framework. We have received many requests from my viewers to make video tutorial on create dynamic tab by using Bootstrap and PHP with MySQL database. We have already seen on many e-commerce website on which product are divided into different category and based on that category it will display data on web page, so this concept we will use to learn this topic. First we have understand the table structure for this topic, here we have testing one database in which we have two table with name like category and product. In category table there is two column like category aid and category name, here category aid is a primary key. In this table we have inserted three category like electronics and computers, home garden and tools and handmade. By using table data we will make dynamic tab. Now in product table there is four table column like product aid, category aid, product name and product image. In this table product it is a primary key and category it is foreign key to category table. In this table we have already inserted some product details. We will use this table data from display content under different table according to category. So this is our table structure, now we have moved to learn this topic. This is my index page and on this page we have used query javascript library and bootstrap framework. Here we will use Bootstrap to make dynamic tabs so we have used Bootstrap framework. We have store product image into this images folder. We will fetch product image from this images folder for display on web page. First we want to create simple tab by using Bootstrap, so here we have write unordered list tag with attribute class is equal to nav and nav tabs. In Bootstrap tab bar created by using this nav and nav tabs class. Under this we want make dynamic tab from data fetch from category table, so we have to move write PHP code and in this first we have make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local lost, username set to root. Password set to blank and database name set to testing one. After making database connection we have write dollar tab query variable is equal to select star from category table order by category aid in ascending order. This query will fetch category data from category table. Then after we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar tab result variable is equal to miscly query function with argument like dollar connect variable and dollar tab query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar tab result variable. Now we have write dollar tab menu variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store dynamic HTML content for create tab. After this we have defined one dollar count variable is equal to zero. We will increment this variable value by one on every loop interval. We will use this variable for find first tab. We have already get query result object, so we have write while loop with dollar row is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar table result argument. This function will convert query result object to array and store into dollar row variable. Under this while loop first we have write of statement with condition like dollar count variable value is equal zero. This condition will check if dollar count variable value is equal to zero then it will execute if block of code. This condition is used for get first tab and when page load then we can see the content of this first tab because in first interval of loop dollar count variable value is zero. So it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar tab menu variable and under this variable we have append html code like open and close list tag with class name is equal to active. This class will identify it as a current page and this tab content will be visible on web page. 
Under this list tag we have right anchor tag with attribute href is equal to hashtag with dynamic table data like dollar row category a variable, with data toggle variable is equal to tab on an anchor text we have right dollar row category name variable. Here we have add data toggle variable is equal to tab this will make tabs toggle able and here we have define unique kid for every tab which is define and href tag. But suppose dollar count variable value will be increased and it will be greater than zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar tab menu variable and in this variable we have append html code which we have simply copy from if block and paste here. But here we have removed this class is equal to active. Because at the same time only one tab will be active and visible another tab content will be invisible. Lastly we have write dollar count variable with increment operator, so on every interval value of this variable will be increased by 1. Now our HTML code for dynamic tab is ready so we have go to unordered list tag and write echo statement with dollar tab menu. It will make dynamic tag from fetch data from category table. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that three tab on web page, here we can see the first page content and other tab content is invisible, because first tab has active class. Now we want to load product data into particular tab according to their category. So we have go to index page and below the sign ordered list tag we have create one division tag with attribute class is equal to tab content. Under this tag we will make dynamic tab content which can be accessible by unique head of anchor tag of list tag tab. After this we have go to PHP code and here we have define one dollar tab content variable is equal to blank value. In this variable we will append dynamic HTML code which will be fetched from product table. Then after we have go to while loop and under if block we have write dollar tab content variable and we have append html code like division tag with attribute that is equal to dollar row category it variable and class is equal to tab pane class, fade class, in class and active class. Here we have used attribute that for connect this division tag to tab anchor tag which we have defined above and here in class and fade class will help it display page content on web page and it is mark as active tab. Same we have go to else block of code and here also we have write dollar tab content variable and in this variable we have append html code simply copy from if block and paste here but here we have removed this in class and fade class. It will help to hide content on web page. After defining division tag now we want to fetch tab content from product table, so we have write dollar product query variable is equal to select star from product where category it is equal to dollar row category it variable. This query will fetch particular category data from product table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar product result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar product query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar product result variable. Again we have write while loop and under this we have write dollar sub row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar product result argument. This function will convert query result into array and we can access them by using dollar row variable. Under while loop we have write dollar tab content variable and in this variable we have append html code like division tag with attribute class is equal to call md3. It is bootstrap grid system class.
Under this tag we have write image tag with attribute sources equal to images folder name slash dynamic image name get from table dollar sub row product image variable with attribute class is equal to image responsive and image thumbnail. After defining image we want to display product name get from product table, so we have write header for tag and between this tag we have write dollar sub row product name variable. It will display dynamic product name on web page. Lastly we want to close the division tag so we have write dollar tab content variable and in this we have append HTML code like close division tag. So our tab content code is ready, so we have go to division tag with class is equal to tab content and between this tag we have write echo statement with dollar tab content variable in which we have stored dynamic HTML code of tab content. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see that there is three tab on web page and we can see product under first tab. Here for make tab we have fetched data from category table and product of particular tab has been fetched from product table. So when we have click on second tab, then we can see the product of home garden and tools category in first tab electronics and computers product has been invisible and we can see the product of second tab. When we have click on third tab, then we can see the product of handmade category. In all tab it display product of particular category. So this feature is very help, by using this feature you can display large number of data divided into different part, user can see, which data he want to see and other data will be invisible. This is type of feature is used in most of the e-commerce site. We can display large data in same, user has not go to next page for see the data. He can view on same page. So friends this is our video tutorial on create dynamic tab in PHP by using bootstrap tab. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.